Israel's bombardment of Gaza has been one of the most brutal assaults in recent time, with the UN calling it the darkest chapter in Palestinian history. According to satellite image analysis, over 200,000 homes have been destroyed, mainly in northern Gaza and Gaza City. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> More than 25,000 tonnes of explosives have been dropped on the besieged enclave since October the 7th. That's according to the Euromed Human Rights Monitor. To put this into perspective, it's the equivalent of two nuclear bombs. Little Boy, the bomb the US dropped on the Japanese city of Hiroshima at the end of World War II, yielded 15,000 tonnes of explosives, wiping out everything within a one mile radius. Of course, the only country to have used atomic weapons is the United States, which has a long history of bombing other countries. According to a report compiled using US government statistics, Washington has dropped over 330,000 bombs and missiles since 2001. Over the past 20 years, as documented in the table below, US and Allied Air Forces have dropped more than 337,000 bombs and missiles on other countries, an average of four to six strikes a day. Data from the US Air Force's Central Command show that the coalition dropped 15,000 bombs in Afghanistan in 2018 and 2019, which means that Israel has dropped more bombs on the Gaza Strip in a month than the US dropped on Afghanistan in two years. And according to UN data, between 2016 and 2020, there were almost 4,000 civilian casualties from airstrikes 1,598 of them children, which makes it less deadly than Israel's Gaza offensive, which the UN says has seen more than 5,300 Palestinian children killed. Speaking of Washington's wars, I was in Iraq earlier this year, 20 years after the US-led invasion. The country has yet to recover from the bombing and destruction that took place there. We are here in Baghdad, which 20 years ago was in flames as the US and Britain unleashed its shock and awe bombing campaign. Eyewitnesses described what happened when missiles rained down on the Iraqi capital in March 2003. While the attack was anticipated, locals were left traumatized by the sheer scale of the destruction. It was very difficult for the country and for all Iraqi citizens. On that day, a disaster struck. My nephew was killed in the first strike on that goddamn day. Bush is a criminal. It was his fault. They are all criminals. They trampled on humanity. They hate people. This was to be expected of them. They came to destroy the country, not to protect the citizens of Iraq. It was a cursed time for all Iraqis. We are still feeling the consequences of this. I also visited Mosul where the US dropped as many as 500 bombs a week in the fight against ISIS. There, I saw buildings damaged and collapsed, with reconstruction work continuing, including at the very mosque where ISIS declared its caliphate. But the so-called precision bombings used there came at a heavy price. Investigations by the Associated Press and NPR estimate anywhere between 5,000 and 11,000 civilians were killed in the fighting. A former vice president of Iraq says Kurdish intelligence believes a staggering 40,000 perished here. Many of those are still buried deep under this rubble. I also recently returned from Egypt, where aid was building up on the border, with the Rafah crossing closed, only opening recently as part of a temporary truce. But Israel has bombed the Rafah crossing too, while targeting infrastructure, including water and electricity, in violation of international law. What it seems to me is that the measures taken, including the bombing at the Rafah crossing, hints to an intention to really starve and kill the people who are innocent inside the Gaza Strip. How has Israel been able to do this? Well, maintaining Israel's regional hegemony is central to Washington's Middle East strategy, with Tel Aviv a major recipient of military aid. Recently, it has been promised a bumper $14.5 billion arms package. In fact, most of the bombs Israel has dropped belong to the United States designed MK80 family.
Israel insists it can target the Palestinian militant organization Hamas accurately while minimizing civilian casualties. The war is progressing according to the objectives. Hamas is suffering severe blows. More than 10,000 munitions were dropped on Gaza City. Thousands of targets were hit. Thousands of sites were destroyed. Thousands of terrorists were eliminated. But these claims run counter to reality, with nearly 15,000 killed and 1.7 million of Gaza's 2.3 million population said to be internally displaced. The humanitarian pause may have brought some temporary relief, but with Tel Aviv promising that bombing will continue after it comes to an end, the Palestinian death toll will continue to rise while Israel carries out potential war crimes with impunity, as it is armed to the teeth by the United States.